Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos. If you want to know the differences about the new CLP 700 series, this is the video for you. Okay, so let's start a selection with the first of the 700 series. This is the CLP 735. So essentially it's a digital piano. You've got uh, a nice speaker system. You've got 88 keys. You've got uh, page holders to hold your pages open. You've got a hook for your headphones. It's got 38 voices to choose from and it includes some new voices, the new samples of the Yamaha CFX Grand and also the Bersendorfer. You've also got some sounds really suitable for playing Chopin and Mozart, some older piano uh, samples from original instruments. You've got um, a drum feature of rhythms that you can play along with 20 different drum patterns. You've also got bass lines that will play automatically along with the chords that you're playing and you've got a metronome feature. So if I was trying to pick something against this model, it would be the plastic keys. When we go higher up the range, the wooden keys make a big difference to your playing experience. Um, so the 735 has plastic keys. And the specification on this model is almost identical to the Baby Grand version. If you come around, I'll show you. The Baby Grand is this one here. It's beautiful to look at. It's about four foot square when you want to fit it into a corner. It does actually go in quite easily. It doesn't take up as much room as you might imagine, but the actual um, look of the instrument is, is stunning. And we've got the lid, just like on a grand piano that will come down. Uh, the sound will be a little bit softer when it's closed and a bit brighter when it's up. You can put all your pictures on here. It's rather nice. And the specification on this model is almost identical to the CLP735 we've just been looked at. The difference on this one is it has a pair of 50 watt speakers and a pair of 42 watt speakers, whereas on the uh, lower model we just had two pairs of 25 watt speakers. So the actual sound system on this one is much better. But other than that, it looks fantastic, but it's the same spec as the CLP735. Now when we move up to the next model, the 745 is going to be um, the same features again, but, but a couple more. And with this 745, we're going to get um, wooden keys. So that's the first big difference. The wooden keys make it a lot more tactile, a nicer instrument to play. And we've got built into here Bluetooth MIDI. So on this model, we've got two pairs of 50 watt speakers. We've got the wooden keys and we've got the Bluetooth. So that makes a huge difference. Oh, and they've stuck in metal now on the um, page holders rather than um, the plastic we had on the lower model. Still got your headphone hook under here. So moving up from the 745, we go to the 775. Come with me and I'll show you the 775. We've got it in a beautiful white finish here, um, but there's other finishes as well to go to. Now the 775 has a new improved action. It's called the Grand Touch Action, but it's linear. And that means every single note has got a different feel to it. From heavy at the bottom, gradually, 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 all the way up to the top key being lighter to play. So it's a much more accurate key action and this is called the Linear Grand Touch. We've also got a brand new panel for the controls. If we look at the control panel on this one, if I turn it on, if you come over here, the control panel itself has um, just a white look to it until it comes on. And when we are playing it, these controls are all on a touch, touch screen. But as soon as we want to, um, it will fade out when we finish playing with it so that we don't see this as being an electronic instrument. It's um, phase out and you can see now it's gone off again. Now on the black versions, it's even more um, unobvious because the screen itself sort of blends in more with the black. But essentially we can bring it in at any point and control it all very, very easily by going to the different sections. But the guys at Yamaha very cleverly have hidden it away. So when we finish playing it, you'll see it'll fade out now. Isn't that amazing? So the CLP 775, linear action, better speakers. We've actually got a pair of 50 watt speakers, a pair of 42 watt speakers, and a pair of 20s. So it's, it's like a big subwoofer full of speakers to give you a really rich sound. And they do make all the difference when you're looking at them compared to the lower models in the range. So all in this box here. We've got our headphone jacks down here. We've got the hook to hang our headphones from when we're not using them, and all our USB connections. Something else they've done is actually they've made the damper pedal, the grand piano damper's pedal response, just like a real grand piano. So it starts off lighter and the further you get down, it's a bit heavier. And that's gonna give you the same sort of 
effects as a, a real grand piano. So there's all these things that make it so much more accurate to play. And that's how the 775 fits into the range. Okay, so we've got the 775, we've got the 745 and the 735. The grand piano in the middle is the same sort of spec as the 735, but these 700 series are fantastic instruments. And I would welcome you to come to our showroom and have a play or watch some of the other videos that we've got available on our YouTube channel. Hope you found this video useful. Do click on the links in the box below this video if you want more information. Thanks for watching.